are talking Evie, and this is written and directed by the team of Jamie Lundy and Dominic Brunt. Brunt, you may know, he used to be a uh, actor in a soap series and actually has a bit of a horror movie pedigree. For example, he recently directed the uh, werewolf movie Wolf Manor. So here we have a slow burn, I guess, psychological horror to a large degree. Uh, it essentially focuses on a character called Evie and her brother Tony. Now, this movie takes place in two, two time periods. We have when they were kids and when they're adults. And uh, there's about a 20 year difference between the two kind of time periods. And we see um, that when they were kids, they were living on some kind of relatively rural community uh, right by the sea, or kind of a, 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 a coastal property. And one day, Evie, when she's a child, finds a kind of talisman uh, on the beach. And it's kind of suggested that this is a kind of uh, Viking totem. Now, this seems to have an effect on Evie, causing her to become, let's just call it problematic. Um, and, you know, she starts to cause, to cause trouble. And then we cut to the, the kind of the modern sort of time frame, and we learn that, uh, both parents have died in, in a kind of tragic circumstances and uh, her and her brother Tony were both kind of put up for adoption and kind of went their separate ways. And it focuses now on the adult Evie whose brother Tony is sort of trying to kind of reconnect with her. So it's that kind of first kind of meeting after all these kind of years apart. And as the kind of the movie goes on, we see that, um, that Evie is still wearing this kind of pendant and she... Both kind of her and Tony have had a very, very troubled life in kind of different different ways, one way or another. But this pendant is still seemingly having some type of uh, effect on Evie. Or is it? Um, and there may well be a dark path ahead. It's kind of all I'll say in the, uh, the plot synopsis there because I don't want to spoil anything. So let's talk about what I think works in this movie. So this was an interesting film because... You know, if you watch this as a horror film, and I will say um, it positions itself uh, to sound like it's like a, um, a, a full on horror film. It isn't. It is really a drama film with kind of supernatural undertones and um, horror elements. But I would say at its core, it's more of a drama than anything else, but certainly a dark one. Um, so, bear that in mind. Now, I, I will say this movie, even though it wasn't necessarily what I was kind of expecting, I actually thought it was handled pretty well. So let me just kind of break down what I liked about this film. So let me talk about the first thing, the performances. Uh, the movie, it focuses mainly on the, kind of the adult characters of uh, Tony and Evie. And I've got to say, but I think both actors did a really fantastic job. Joe, both showing like broken kind of adults who have had this kind of troubled kind of life thus far. But they've kind of, they, they're broken in different ways is the best way I would kind of describe it. And I've I got to say I thought the, it was some powerful performances uh, from both kind of actors here. Really uh, quite haunting at times. Uh, so I think they did a great job uh, of portraying this kind of deep-seated hurt and and kind of like anguish that they're both kind of feeling. And I also have to say the movie has some sort of commentary really on, um, you know, life without parents ultimately. So what can, what effect can growing up with that kind of without that kind of family unit unit potentially have on children? Now this is taken to somewhat of an extreme in this movie, but you know it's it's a good example of of how a family unit can break down and the effects of you know um, a broken kind of family unit could have on the children, which I thought was kind of fascinating. There's also some commentary on mental health here. Now, without giving anything away, um, this is one of these films where it could be something supernatural or it could be more of a mental illness kind of situation. Um, and that's all I'll kind of say on that, but I think that it actually handles that 
fairly well. Um, and, and I, in a way, I wish I, was, I could I could talk more about that uh, aspect of it because I found it quite fascinating, and I think it was really well handled here. But I won't say any any more than that. Uh, but I found that that fascinating. But going back to the acting, even the child actors here, and both the young uh, Evie and the young Tony, I believe are actually played by uh, younger members of the Brunt and Lundy family here. So, but I think they did a good job, you know, even the, kind of the child actors that I think did well. I mean, the, the young Tony doesn't have a lot to do, but even the young Evie, I thought, was still a, you know, a good performance here. So I thought the acting was, was solid, and the kind of the themes that the movie was trying to kind of uh, project, I think, were interesting. Uh, 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 one thing I also really kind of liked about this movie was the score, the musical score. Now, I'm not a huge, like, you know, person that pays much attention to music themes and kind of scores. But every so often I do find one that really kind of, like, elevates the material. And this is one of those films. Um, it has a truly kind of atmospheric and haunting atmosphere, largely down to this kind of, this, this, this kind of, this melody and this music that this uh, that, that kind of permeates this kind of film. I thought it was fantastic and wonderfully kind of atmospheric. So I really enjoyed the kind of the musical score. And I'm going to stay on top of that as well. To add to that, I think the actual um, the location shooting here, the cinematography, and just the kind of like the, the the framing and the kind of the editing of this movie all makes this kind of like this um, this coastal kind of like house and kind of community just seem kind of very isolated and very kind of like mystical in kind of some ways. I thought it was all very, very well handled. Um, you know, and, it, and it, it, i got to be honest with you, for a very slow burn film, I was intrigued. I'm going to, I can imagine when this comes out, you're going to see on IMDb, oh, boring, dull, you know, on the user reviews. This hasn't come out yet, as I'm reviewing this film, so, uh, but I'm willing to bet that that's, that's what it would would, would say. Uh, and I think partially it's probably down to this being marketed as a full-on horror, which it really isn't. And I think partly because um, the movie's a very slow-moving film. But i got to say, I think for the story that it is trying to tell, I think it works. This is a good example of a, uh, you know, a slow burn story that kind of unfolds, but done well. To a point, and here where we come into maybe what I think does not work. Now, because I've seen this movie quite long before its release, I'm not going to go into the, too much detail here, but I have to say the finale for me was disappointing on two levels. Because the, we have the, the, the main storyline is our adults, Tony and Evie as adults, but we get kind of flashbacks here and there with them as children as well. So we have the conclusion of both the child storyline and the adult storyline happening like late in the third act. And I think they both weren't particularly well handled. I think this movie was very well handled up until these points. So the child, uh, without giving anything away, the kind of younger storyline to me um, was like, uh, it just seems silly and um, implausible. Purely for, without again, without spoiling physics, biology, strength, I just think it was like, come on, that doesn't seem plausible to me. Um, again, that's all I'm saying on that. And then we have our adult storyline, and it was a little bit kind of like, there's, there's too many, um, if you are to believe what you see, there, there, there'd be too many kind of like questions at the end of it, I, I, I would suggest. And, um, you know, it's... It's deliberately ambiguous, I would say, in regards to the cause. Again, it's difficult without kind of really spoiling anything here. I've kind of suggested to you um, two options, and it might be, earlier in the review. So, you know, that's all I'm kind of saying on it. But I've got to say, it was a little bit too kind of like quickly kind of put together. And I don't feel it it, it, it really kind of um, made huge, huge amounts of sense without kind of, I think it needed to see a little earlier with here. Um, and the only other thing I would say is the movie is is a is a slow burn, and I do, and I do feel that this isn't going to be uh, a movie for people who want more of a visceral horror experience, who want more of a kind of a you know a, a truly horrifying movie or scary film. It's not those things. It is a 
dark atmospheric drama with kind of horror elements and I just feel people might find it uh, a little dull at times. I didn't, I actually thought it was an intriguing storyline, but I can understand if maybe people were expecting a kind of, uh, a, you know, a, a horror movie, um, you know, kind of thing, and then they got more of a drama. That being said, I mean, I, I really, really enjoyed this movie until the end, um, where I think it dropped the ball. So I'm actually going to give this one a 7 out of 10, because I think the vast majority of this film works very well. We just ended on a, on a, on a, on a poor note, which is a kind of a shame. Um, but that's really the only negatives I've got to say for this one. I think it was pretty. It was a, a strong movie overall. It's just a shame it didn't quite stick landing for me. Um, but yeah, I would. If you like slow burns, psychological, kind of more dramatic movies, which with horror, you know, sort of tinges. I mean, like I said, I've seen the... Um, one of the posters for it that I suspect there'd be more by the time it comes out. I don't think going into it expecting a movie like that, you're going to be disappointed. But as it, as it stands, they kind of dramatic uh, horror movie. I, I thought it was strong before until we got to the kind of the finale. So for me, seven out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Uh, please do leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing it next time. Bye for now.